What's going on, everyone? So in the previous episode, we saw Henry and Tabitha come to Fromville, right? Tabitha is returning. Henry is a first-timer. And he's also Victor's father. Uh, so you know that this episode uh, in particular, and maybe even the next few episodes, are really going to be dealing with the aftermath, kind of blowback of, one, Tabitha getting to the real world and returning, as well as Henry, who is Victor's father, uh, and kind of that dynamic and how that kind of uh, uh, affects not only Victor, but even some of the townspeople, right? Like, is there a struggle? Is there a conflict? Uh, but more than anything, I'm really excited to see, one, the impact that this has on Victor, seeing his father, and obviously their conversations. Uh, I had concerns that that wouldn't happen. And I even talked about, like, that would be a real missed opportunity. Right? There's not really much that I've really complained about when it comes to Fromville. Um, but my concern was that, like, you know, if Victor dies, or uh, Henry dies before you have that Victor dialogue, that would be a nightmare. Because it is something that could have made sense. Right? It's something that, you know, like, you could even argue maybe would have even impacted Victor even more. Like your dad was here and it's not, or maybe it's a secret that everyone keeps that they got to deal with. Maybe Victor discovers and unpacks. And now that's something that the town has to deal with with Victor now knowing all these people just lied to him, right? Like there, there's a lot of ways that they could have approached this, but I'm glad that as we know, Henry uh, is alive and you're going to have this at some point. I wouldn't be shocked if it's not next episode, if it's the, following episode uh, where Victor and Henry kind of have this heart to heart, kind of have this moment of father and son after so long. But more than anything, like I, cause you got to keep in mind, yes, Henry is Victor's father, but to Victor, he's not right. Like, or he's not his dad is probably the best way to put it. Right. Cause like to Victor, it's like, yes, he's, he's my father. Like he gave birth to me. He was married to my mother, but I've spent 30 plus years without him. I didn't know if he was alive. I didn't know if he was dead. I, I didn't know anything. How come you didn't ever come look for me? How come you didn't come here? Like now, after all this time, now you're here, right? Like there's just, you can see the trauma even maybe that it causes Victor who, yes, he looks like an adult, right? But mentally he's still a child. So what kind of impact does that have on him? Could it be beneficial? Right? Because got to keep in mind, this entire season has been really kind of focused on Henry or on Victor uh, unlocking his memories of the past, right? Of Victor trying to remember certain things, certain key moments throughout Fromville. And now that you have Henry, kind of what he knows and he remembers, particularly from Miranda, what Miranda told him, who is uh, Victor's mother, there could be some things to kind of unpack that maybe Henry could even help Victor kind of unlock some of those memories. Now, I do <laughs> I do have some concerns with, um, you know, do... I hope that they don't do something where Henry is about to die, right? Let's say he gets attacked by a monster or something like that because he's not really familiar with the rules and the way things work and blah, blah, blah. Whatever, right? Like, something happens or maybe Victor takes off running at night or something and Henry goes after him. Like my hope is that like, cause like I don't mind if Henry dies, but I would like not only the introductory moment, but I'd like some real kind of breakdown and insight moment. You know, like I'd like a, a few things to, to kind of unravel and unfold before you take him out. Does that make sense? Like, I'm okay with you taking out Henry at some point. If you want to do that, fine. But I don't want them to do it before we really kind of unpack Victor and Henry a little bit. Right? I want to see some some implications on Victor's side of things. Right? It, does Henry not really know how to handle it? Not really know how to deal with it? Like, is, is he kind of... You know, does he kind of... Yes, it's his son, but last time he saw his son, his son was a child, right? So is it weird for him? Like, how does he handle it? How does Henry deal with it? How does he Im impact 
you know, members of the town and stuff, right? How does he impact the boy in white? The boy in white and Victor have this connection. Could the boy, boy in white potentially get jealous or something? Like, there's a lot of ways that you can kind of divulge this, right? Like, and have this kind of play out. And I really don't want them to to blow the opportunity here. Because I do think that there's a real opportunity here to really tell and add to not only Victor's story, just the overall Fromville uh, and From experience. And so, you know, to, to have this father and son meeting and, and the two of them kind of... Uh, you know, Victor having these reservations to meet his father and, you know, kind of the disbelief and all that. I, I do think that that is something that makes sense, right? Because Victor, again, he's not, he's a child still, right? He still has the child mind and mentality. He still has a lot of things about him that, you know, I mean, this would be hard on an adult, right? Now, imagine a kid. I imagine, you know, you have, let's, let's look at it from a perspective of an adult for a moment, right? Imagine you're grown, you haven't seen your father in 30 years, right? And he just leaves, right? Like, but it's not even that he just left. It's not like he's like, oh, I didn't want anything to do with my kid. I didn't want anything to do with his mom. No, he was a family man. Loved the wife, right? Like, loved the kids from, from what we've gathered, and then they went to this place and he had no way, he, he didn't know if they were alive, he didn't know if they were dead. Everyone's accusing him, right? Imagine the perspective from Henry's side and then imagine the perspective as an adult from the perspective like, I don't know you, right? Like, I haven't seen you in 30, I, like, yeah, you're my father, but, you know, you're not my dad. Like, you didn't raise me. You're you're my biological, You're you're my, you know, Donor, right? You, you know what the other word is. I YouTube, so but like, you know, like that's the problem. That's where this this issue lies. Is that Henry's looking at it from the perspective, most likely, of like, you know, I've always loved you. You're my son. Like, I I I've searched for you. I've done. I I don't know what happened to you. I didn't even know you were alive. Right? And now you're here. You're in front of me. Oh my goodness! Right? Like, and from Victor's perspective, he's probably looking at us like, I, I don't know you. The last I remember of you, one, you were 30 years younger, and two, I was a kid. You know, and, and he is still a kid in many ways. So now, put it in the perspective of a kid. Imagine you are, you know, to him, to Victor, again, that, that however long he's been there, 30 years longer, he, he hasn't grown up. And so now he's got to try to deal with that emotion and that trauma and the, you know, and the, the, just memories that that's going to unlock. And, you know, I, I'm curious to see how this really plays. There's a real opportunity here to kind of add another layer and element to from, to add another layer and element to Victor in particular and kind of the, the aftermath and, and blowback and how that heavily in, affects and impacts Victor, you know, and, and, you know, potential relationship with, you know, Ethan and again, the boy in white, right? Does that impact the boy in white? You know, I, look, I think that there's a genuine argument. The boy in white is why Henry's even here, right? Like, you know, I mean, the boy in white was able to get Tabitha out. You don't think it's not possible for them, for the boy in white to be able to get people in? I think so. But, you know, you, you, you're going to have this struggle, I would imagine, and, and this reluctancy from Victor that curious to see how it plays out. Curious to see how it how it kind of all unpacks and unfolds. Cause you know, it's just you can imagine the tough spot that Victor and Henry gotta be in. You know, and Henry's gotta kind of be in this patient space. But I am. I'm excited to see how this kind of father-son saga um kind of kind of plays itself out because there's a lot of directions that they can go with this. And I just I hope it's I hope we get to experience it a little bit, right? If you want to kill Henry, fine, kill him, but give us a give us a handful of moments with him, right? Give us a, a couple, give us a handful of quality scenes with Victor and Henry, kind of explore their relationship and dynamic, and then also I I also think you know imagine the the effect and impact it would have if Victor 
finally started to come around to his father and then his father died, right? Like that, the, imagine what that would do. So again, a lot to unpack. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion and a past question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, what do you make of this? How do you feel? Uh, do you want to see Victor and his father kind of have this moment, kind of share th these these conversations and stuff and kind of deal with the struggles and kind of see that unfold uh, through the screen? Or do you think like, no, like just take out Henry or, you know, have, have them kind of stay disconnected. Maybe Victor doesn't ever want to meet him or anything like that and just avoids him like the play, which that could be a real possibility too. Victor could just be like, I don't ever want to meet the guy. I right, keep keep him. No, I I live in Colony. I keep him far away. I he needs to stay in a house in town and don't ever come here. Right? Could be a possibility. But I have a feel whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. And that subscribe channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.